it's Wednesday morning, 9 a.m., not quite Wednesday morning, 3 a.m., on the 21st of February, 2024. And I think today is a very significant moment in the history of guitar. And I do think that the most significant guitar of the last 20 years, definitely, has just been launched. And I'm going to tell you why. So on the face of it, there are many guitar launches every uh, every day. Maybe not every day, but every month for sure. Um, so what is it that makes this particular guitar launch special? And what am I talking about? I'm talking about the new PRS SC, important, C24 Saturn. And what makes it significant is the price point, 499 US dollars. Now, 499 is not a new price point. You have plenty of guitars at that price point. So what am I about? Let's talk about what guitars, what is the real difference between cheap guitars, expensive guitars? What does it mean for a player? What does a cheap guitar even mean? Are guitars, are, is, a, is a $499 guitar a cheap guitar? The thing is, when you compare typically sub thousand dollar guitars to something nicer like some of the guitars that you see behind me of course the sub thousand dollar guitars tend to be perfectly functional but let's just say that the better guitars are even more functional especially out of the box especially for newer players this has just started to change i would say in the last year or so because the sub thousand dollar prs se guitars made in indonesia by cortec they are incredible. I own plenty of expensive PRSs, as you can see behind me. I am not saying that a PRS SC made in Indonesia is as good as one of those PRS cores or PRS private stocks. But what I can guarantee you is that it has 95% of the functionality. In fact, the functionality is so good that functionally, I don't think you need anything more than that. You know, I recently played a PRS SC594 um, at the house of somebody who bought it. He's a guitar person who used to who used to play guitar earlier, 20 years ago. Now he's coming back into it. And I, when I was playing, when, when I saw the guitar initially, I was like, yeah, okay, so this is a good starting point. Maybe once you're back and you're more serious about guitar, you can get a nicer guitar. But when I played it, I was like, you know what? Functionally, you don't really need a nicer guitar. I mean, there are plenty of other reasons to buy an expensive guitar, the rarity, the words, and of course, they are better instruments, but... The PRS SE594 was as good as it gets. Now, here's the implication. The PRS CE, uh, SE, CE24 Satin is probably going to have the same level of uh, playability, the same level of functionality. Um, I've just got the whole thing open over here for you so you can kind of see it and you can see the specs and everything. And we'll talk about that because that's significant. But the price point... $500. I don't think the purpose of this... So firstly, it's amazing that PRS have done such, an, such a great price point. But I don't think people, especially I would say, and I'm not trying to be provocative here, but especially people in developed countries, like say the US, Western Europe, um, maybe parts of Asia that are developed, even Singapore where I am, you do not realize the significance of this price point. Because guess what? What you and I consider a cheap guitar, a $500 guitar, is not a cheap guitar for musicians living in developing countries, musicians living in, say, India, or even Indonesia where these guitars are made, or Malaysia next to me. Not that Malaysia is developing, Malaysia is kind of somewhere in between. But the point is, purchasing power parity makes what you and I in a developed country consider a cheap guitar an impulse purchase. It makes it that cheap guitar an expensive guitar for people. Significantly expensive. Let's just take even this. Uh, so a thousand dollar guitar, which would be, let's just say, I'm just going to go with Indian rupees for now because I'm familiar. I'm also originally from India. 80,000 rupees would be a thousand dollar guitars. Thousand dollar guitar, US dollars. More than that. Plus there's duties, etc. It's a whole different topic. But let's just go with 80,000 rupees. That, for many people, is three times the salary. 
a lot of people much much more than that and especially musicians who don't earn as much as the average graduate so imagine is that a cheap guitar three times your salary i don't think so so a 80000 rupee guitar a 1000 dollar guitar may well be out of reach for this person so think of let's go back to if you really want a perfect instrument that does everything functionally a core prs guitar which would be say be 5000 dollars so 80000 into 5 400000 rupees is out of the question it's a more than a year salary for many people a 80000 dollar 80000 dollar 80000 rupee 400000 rupee guitar is out of the world nobody can buy it 80000 rupee maybe you could but you probably need to take a lot of loans it's almost like it's more expensive than buying a bike it's more expensive than buying your primary means of transportation even a 1000 dollar uh guitar and now 40000 rupee 1000 dollar 80000 rupee guitar now 40000 rupees 500 dollars maybe we are talking it is expensive for this person for these folks in india or indonesia or many other places all over the world i'm just using what i'm familiar with but guess what 500 dollars you can think about it and when you spend 500 dollars you are not getting any compromise you're getting the guitar which is 85 to 90% of the guitar that this person this uh extremely lucky quote and quote privileged person sitting here with all of these guitars you're getting 85 to 90% of the same experience so that in itself makes it for me a game changer um there is the the uh, the feel good factor from having a good instrument that typically was not available at this price point there is the functionality of it and then there's of course new guitarists for whom when you buy 500 dollar guitar you don't you don't usually get something that encourages you to keep playing and this is also a second point completely different from my first point 9 out of 10 guitarists drop out they drop out when they because they can't simply keep up with the guitar it's it's too difficult to play sometimes and you know often it's very small issues i've had people who've had a string break and this that made them stop play guitar not to say that this guitar will have less string breakages but you know cheaper guitars tend to have compromises action tends to be higher they don't stay in tune people get discouraged because they keep putting it in tune prs's prs ses are not like that they are pretty much almost as good as a prs score in terms of staying in tune and better than a gibson let's be clear so the second implication of this is that new guitarists will have who want to buy just want to invest say 500 dollars i'm talking people in developed world here they are they will get an amazing quality instrument which may just encourage them to keep playing and uh, the spin off the knock off effect from people continuing to play guitar is massive because once you get a person playing guitar regularly they get hooked they definitely get into a lot more music they definitely spend a lot more in the industry it can be only good things for the industry now let's talk about how is it that prs is able to pull this off right so i have no doubt that they're being aggressive on the price point but there are a few things in the specs that are helping them um three things bolt on that is the biggest difference and i was so glad that when pr is introduced bolt on to the sc line because that meant this meant that they could create a much cheaper guitar with no difference in quality it's just a difference in method so that's one reason why it's cheaper the other reason why it is cheaper is of course the satin finish i have to tell you folks i recently got three prs did something similar like this on the us lineup about 15 years ago they did the satin standard series and they are some amazing guitars especially for the price even today you can pick one up for 2000 us dollars much cheaper than the equivalent uh non satin guitar and again it's it it what this does is it gives you the same quality at a cheaper price it just becomes a matter of preference of course the gloss guitar could be a little bit more flashy no pun intended than a satin guitar but a satin guitar is just a different flavor yet it's much cheaper than the absence of a maple top or in this particular in the case of prs's scs you have a maple top and you have a maple veneer to make it look good that's removing cost so you have all of those and the third thing that you cannot discount that's helping with the cost is the sheer economies of scale because prs scs have just exploded and suddenly you have much higher volumes i was watching the prs uh, fireside chat and i think they were talking about volumes going up 4x or something in the last few years imagine that economies of scale is amazing because suddenly 
The tremolo is, is a much cheaper part. The tuners, which are shared across the board, are much cheaper parts, so on and so forth. So yeah, imagine that. You can now get a guitar that is as good as 85 to 90% as good as any guitar you can ever imagine. You can get that at a price of $500 for the person for whom $500 is three times a monthly salary or two times a monthly salary. You can still think about it. It's not out of this world. And for the person lucky enough like me or other people living in a developed world, suddenly for the new guitarist, it's much easier to get a great instrument and stick to the instrument. And for the rest of us, if you really get to a situation where you need to sell all your guitars for whatever reason, you can just buy one of these for $500 and you could be fine. All right. Hope this was interesting. Till next time.